Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2. We're playing as Carrot Cadron once again. This is episode 15. I never know coming in. I'm sure it's 15. And uh, last time when we left off, we had just been attacked by an awesome looking rebellion at Mount Gunbad. Uh, purely goblins. We have no doubt we're going to win this, obviously. It's just going to be fun to slaughter thousands of goblins. So let's do it. Little update. While we're on the loading screen, I'm still waiting for the SFO to come out so we can get back to our High Elf campaign. So in the meantime, I'm thinking of starting a new campaign. I really am. I'm not sure what yet. If anyone is watching this and wants to leave a comment below suggesting, feel free. I'm not saying I'll do it, but uh, <laughs> feel free to comment if you'd like to see anything. Okay, let's do this. Get everyone off the walls first. What we got? We got some goblins over here. Just them up just so I see that I've used them. Let's put the gunners. One here and one here. Find your targets. Quarrelers here and some quarrelers here. That looks good to me. Yes, Lord. Put them in guard mode. Uh, what we're we gonna do after that? Let's put some long beards over here. And some great weapons. Put some long beards at this gate. In fact, you know what? They're not going to be needed there. There's no threat to that gate. And then finally, we'll put some long beards here. Uh, I'll put uh, great weapons here. And then let's just space some warriors out. We'll put some there. Some here. Some here. Miners support the gate as well. And this is looking pretty good. We'll have the grudge throwers facing this way, I think. And our Thane. Where are we going to put our Thane? I'm not sure. We'll put our Thane right here. Uh... Guarding the gate with the long beards, I think. Might be needed on the left, though. Not sure. Eh, I'm sure it'll be okay. There's not much coming on the left. Six units. I think we can deal with that with what we've got. Let's do it. Let's fire on these. Fire on these. Point on firing on the towers. We won't destroy them, so it's just a waste of time. One thing I wish they'd get rid of is this this fog on the underground battles. I don't think it adds anything, even if it's realistic, which it may well be, it just doesn't add anything to the visuals and you know at the end of the day you want to see what's happening. So I'm not a fan of it personally. This unit's getting annihilated, very nice. Okay, time to get off. <laughs> Time to get off. They can stay there, they're okay. They can stay there. That looks pretty good to me. Let's have the archers go here. Then they can get a good angle fighting firing along this wall. That'll be good. They are docking on the walls here. Let's just keep an eye on that. I'm just going to pull these gunners off now. So it's the sort of thing I'd do. I'll just forget otherwise. <laughs> okay. Engage, lads. Let's do it. 
That's perfect. Nicely in the middle there. So you fire on them, and you fire on them, just so that angle is as maximally into the back of them as possible. Uh, actually, sorry, you guys stay right there. Oh, didn't put them in guard mode on, that was silly. Let's pull these archers off. And then we'll put them over here or something as well. That looks good. Let's get these thunderers off and put the miners up. And I'll get a Thane up there as well on the walls. Although, here we go. The gate's just fallen. Brave Dowie, stand your ground! Oh, ouch. <laughs> nice little Goblin Archer volley did actually... Uh, Help their charge there. I think the Longbeards will hold up fine against them, though. Just to ensure that happens, though, we'll put these gunners over here. And I'm going to put the archers like this. And if any start breaking through, they will definitely take care of them. Oh, they are pushing up here now. And there's really a battle for the walls now. Pull these archers back. These poor warriors having to deal with Urk, although they don't seem to be giving him... He doesn't seem to be giving them any trouble, so... There's a lot of goblins being dealt with on this left flank by very few Dawei, but they should be okay. There's something awesome about dwarfs versus goblins. Look at this. The goblins have formed a shield wall against our great weapon dwarfs. That's not stopping them though. We're trying to take chunks out of them. Look at that. <laughs> Goblin shield wall. Oh, there they go. <laughs> that was some Spartan style discipline. Very impressive from the goblins. <laughs> a nightmare scenario. Let's find out what's happening elsewhere on the walls. Some of these units on the left hand side have started to route but it's not looking good for uh, we're running out of arrows on the left hand side which will not be a good result for them. We are winning this fight here though and on the right hand side the flank is looking pretty secure. These archers are supporting the gates where the long beers are holding fast. Some of those goblins retreating now. Every inch of ground. Look at the blood. It's being paid for it. They're starting to drop. There's another one. There he goes. And the grudge thrower started to fire again. That's probably the end for them. Let's have our gunners face this way. So if any of the goblins retreat towards the back of our garrison, which happens like this, that they still fire. Let's uh, engage these Dawi. They are a uh, great weapon. Quarrelers, so more than capable of getting involved in the fight. There goes Urk. Their general's fleeing. And that's probably a mass break for them. There it is. A great victory here for the Dawi. Only six Longbeards lost at the gate. Held very bravely. There they go, tail between legs. Not a not a surprising outcome, but uh, a fun battle nevertheless. I love I love battles like this where it's just standard units on standard units. It's not very complex, but it just looks really cool. <laughs> you get a really cool old world fantasy style theme from it.
It's a great battle. But the concerning thing, if I remember last time, is that uh, Car not Carrot Kadrin, um, Mount Gunbad is about to rebel again. Which could cause some issues here. <clears throat> I'll take the leadership bonus. Okay, let's have a look around here, see what's going on. So Mount Goombad is needing to repair. Let's do that. Get out me Eric's not gone yet, but Oh no, good. Okay, we're still counting as plus twenty at the moment, that's fine. And we took Castle Dragon off, of course, last time, which is awesome. Let's upgrade the public order so that it'll stabilize. Lord of Clan Borgrim. And we have a rebellion to deal with here as well. Is that what's happening? I will not. I'm not sure if that's our rebellion or Fort Oversteers. Who can say? Aha, yes, it is against us. Okay. Still, it's not a big problem. What's your orders? Meanwhile, Grimly is heading up to do one of our quests. I can't remember where he's going. Is it here? Prague. Eastern Oblast, that's it. King. So I think as soon as the public order stabilizes, we can head uh, east and then south. I don't think there's going to be anything left to fight up here. Kislev are doing well. The human factions are still all very healthy. Um, it's looking like a really good campaign for the forces of order, to be honest. So I don't know what there's going to be much left to do. We might have to just make a war with the humans just to have some fun. Because <laughs> it's pretty, turning out to be a really easy campaign. Let's check our victory conditions. No greater than nine. So we need to get our grudges down. We'll find out a bit more about that. Ensure the following building has been constructed. I think we have that already. Destroy Norska and Clan Mulder. So we need to head north and do that. And maintain control of five provinces, including the following. Either by direct ownership or through vassals and military alliances. Well, we have three already. Ten total of seven slayers. So we're actually, this is the one we're mostly further, furthest away from. 60 units in total, that's three full armies. Um, which we can't even remotely afford right now. We already have three, so we're not far away from a victory here. Probably the best thing to do would be to head north, actually. And completely ignore the south. So Zufbar's here, that's fine. We're, we're going to keep working on getting a confederation with the dwarfs. But even then... If we get a military alliance with them, that's enough, so that's fine. It's just that the problem they haven't taken Karig Dromar, which is annoying. Otherwise, we'd have that as well. So we'd have, we would have four out of five if it wasn't for them not taking that. I think giant home mountains are ones that we should move because we need to take out Clan Mulder, and they look like they're held by Clan Mulder. So that's probably our next uh, our next objective and war with the Norskins. It shouldn't be too difficult. Although it'll be complicated when chaos come, which is bound to be a little bit soon because uh, we're doing quite well. So there we go. Got our objectives in our head at least, so we know what we're doing next. Partially, in any case. Uh, I think there's nothing left to do here but pass our turn for now. I think there's a bit of, uh, a bit of waiting it needs to be done first. And definitely try and get uh, Ungram his his quest items as well. That's something we need to do as quickly as possible. While we've got some relative peace here. Will you join me? 
Men of the Empire. Defensive Alliance? Uh, no, not when they're at war, war with the Empire. I don't want bad relations with the Empire. Yes, he's just going to siege us again. <clears throat> Hopefully, I can wipe that army out. Ooh, Castle Temple off as well. Finish time. Chaos Corruption. You know what? I'm going to take it. Get the extra gold. Okay. What? Can we help here? That would be good. Yes, I'm pretty sure we can if we... What about if we do that? Very well. This may work. That doesn't look quite close enough, does it? And if we do, maybe we'll get a rebellion here. So I'm not sure if it's a good idea, actually. I'm going to build those walls just so Drakenhof is completely safe. See if I can auto-resolve this to get rid of the rebellion. That would be good. Auto resolve is much more likely to clear it entirely. Yep, there we go. Awesome. Okay. Hopefully that'll give us a couple of turns. Yep. Eight turns. Before it will rebel again. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, actually get some stuff done while that's happening. And. Is that upgrading to level 3 now? No, that's just repairing. So we need a population surplus of 4 before we can do this. So there's quite a while to wait before we'll have that, unfortunately. Let's have a quick chat with the dwarves, see what their uh, thoughts are on Confederation. They don't think much of it. <laughs> I didn't think they would. <clears throat> These are a lot stronger than I am. Let's see what this looks like. Could we just win this outright? No. Okay, we'll let them attack us then. Again, I'm in, I really have no fear of losing that battle deployment. I could sally out and beat them. Wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. But I think, if I'm honest, we'll give it a couple of turns. Let's see what happens first. <clears throat> um... Level 19, one more before immortality. Damping's never a bad thing. Ah, oh, to die in battle. Let's see what the, um, the public order is if we step outside of the castle. Onward. Minus five. Let's go here. Minus 10. Yes, we can go back next turn. Awesome. There we go. Make it easy on ourselves. Get rid of them. Oh, that's very nice. Look at that. The Gunnarsson Kron. 10% post-battle. Definitely stick that on an agent. Uh, we'll give him Master Rune of Wrath and Ruin. We could even stick him in Castle Drakenhof. Not a bad idea either. In fact, let's do it. Still minus five. <laughs> Typical. Let's see if we can get him in there now. Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Maybe swap back next turn. Grimley's almost an Eastern Oblast. That's good. Confederation between the dwarfs and Karakazul, that's pretty good. They're getting ever stronger. It's good news for us because it means we probably don't have to worry about the, the orcs at all. 
down south, who seems to be getting annihilated. So I think we'll, uh, next turn, I will put um, Ungram back into Castle Drakenhof. We'll get him a full contingent of units, probably replace some of these warriors with long beards. And then we'll head north and see what we can do up there. Start our war with the Norskins and the Skaven. Crooked, the, um, is it, oh, I don't know what they're called. The Hell Pit? Is it the Hell Pit clan? I'm not sure. Oh, that's good for us. War fervor. No, we don't want it. We, we need that gold right now. Ambusher discovered. Ambusher discovered. They just raised Fort Oversteer. That's awesome. Let's take that. I prefer to take it with you, but there's no way you can reach. We have to take it with Ingram. And if we don't take it this turn, they'll take it. So we have to do that. Let's do it now. Doesn't make any sense not to. To get the complete... The complete province, perfect. Oh, we don't have the complete province. There's still Schwartz happening, but still, it's better to have the two towns, of course. Then I will upgrade this to increase the growth, and then probably Ashen next turn. I don't even know if a gate's worth it. The chances of this getting attacked is so small. I think we'll go for the public order building. Because that seems to be quite an issue. I grow restless. Vengeful Lord. And that is all we can do this turn. Turning out to be quite a campaign turn in the end here. Luckily we got a nice good battle at good and bad first, but um <laughs> We're sort of still recovering. We moved really fast and had some great battles against the vampire counts, and now we're sort of having to bide our time a bit. I could, I could strike out and be at war, I guess, but I think it's just the safer option to just make sure that I um, consolidate my position before I move. Otherwise, we're just going to get countless rebellions, and we're not going to grow, and we're not going to have a secure province. And then if we don't have that, it's going to be an absolute struggle to head north and defeat the Norskins. Can't believe Barak Var is still around. Usually they're the first to confederate with the dwarves. Welcome to my throng. Defensive Alliance? No thank you, sir. I like you all very much, you're all good friends, but I'm not interested in getting into wars like that. Well, like like this. Top pots, though, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. They're so far away, that shouldn't affect us. Lord, the fates have surely selected you for great. Good stuff. Eight thousand gold. Very nice. Take that. The throng is mustered. Eastern Oblast is done. We have to fight a wow, quite a decent chaos army to get our axe of Dargo. But once we get that, that's a big deal. That's awesome. What's the next quest for uh, the Slayer Crown? Is Wisemond, and we need to raid a Greenskin tribe, and that has to be with Ungram. So that's a bit of a pain. I don't know how we're going to do that. That's a nightmare, actually. <laughs> that's an absolute nightmare. When on earth are we going to do that? Maybe I should just send him. Forced march south to take the Black Crag, but we'll raid it first to get his quest, of course. The slayer in me seeks death. Okay, let's bring Grimly back to Templehof. 
and let's send Ungram to Castle Drakenhof. We'll upgrade this, upgrade Eshin for the public order, and then just to get some more growth on the go. So the first thing we'll do is we'll move to Wiseman's. Which is over here, goodness me. It's going to take him ages to get there. Four or five turns. How's Mount Gunbad doing? Nine turns till the population increase. And then we have to wait for another one, and then we'll get there. So, not ideal, but uh, it's not the worst thing either. We still haven't got even got the gold mine here, which is quite crazy when you think about it. We're also close to getting a dwarf hold here as well. And that will give us even more income. But for now, there is not much to be done. I talk to S and see if we can get military access so we can pass through their lands without annoying them. Orcs seem to be making a pushback here to try and retake Karakate Peaks. Azag coming over from here as well, from Bitterstone Mine. All the legendary lords making an appearance, Azag, Wurzag and Grimgor. Okay, what to do? What to do? Well, that's a no-brainer. That's just an absolute no-brainer. Um, these guys back into normal stance. And I think we'll delete this. There's no need to have that. And we'll get two growth buildings. I think that's the best way forward. As for Ungrim, I'm not sure whether to... Give him more soldiers now and head south or north. I mean, we need to do the quest battle for the axe anyway, so he needs a full army. But I need to wait for the rest of them to regenerate as well. And I don't really want to combine these guys because then we lose uh, gold chevron archers and silver chevron archers will be lost. And that will be a devastating loss, so I'm not really keen on doing that. So, the good news is I can literally do it in one turn, I can just get what I need, So, but we have to wait until these guys regenerate, and unfortunately the regeneration here is so slow because of the vampiric corruption and the lack of growth and yada yada yada. So unfortunately, we are just playing a waiting game. I'll pass my turn. <laughs> While Grimly now runs to Wisemund, traveling the wide world. <laughs> Jenkins Dribblechin. What a great name. What a wonderful thing to be famous for. Jenkins Dribblechin. Didn't even say that right. <laughs> Dribblechin. <laughs> when you're doing well in the world of Warhammer, if you manage to get to a general position, a war boss position, with a name like Dribble Chin. <laughs> you know he gets a lot of shit. Then again, do orcs, are orcs good at insults? You know, I mean, they don't strike me as being particularly creative with insults, so maybe it just goes completely unnoticed. <coughs> Oh, 
Okay. One last look at things. I think I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. I'm sorry that it's not been the most exciting towards the end there. We've been a lot of turn passing, but needs must sometimes. But next time we're going to build up our army, regenerate Ungram's army, and do his quest and head north to fight the uh, clan. Is it Clan Mulder? Clan Mulder, that's them. Uh, and the Norskins up north. And probably have to deal with some chaos too. So exciting times to come. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're enjoying the series, please subscribe for more content. And I will see you in the next one.